Kazan became the host city for the 2016 Science of the Future conference. Leading scientists met at Kazan Federal University to discuss pertinent issues and exchange opinions. More than 1,300 participants came to make their contribution. The conference included 10 sections – agricultural, biological and food technologies, humanities and social sciences, information technologies, mathematics and mechanics, machinery and energy, life sciences and medicine, earth sciences, ecology and environmental management, new materials, manufacturing technologies and processes, physics and astronomy, chemistry and chemical technologies. I think this is a unique event. To hold so many parallel panels on contemporary areas of research and technology, there is physics, biology, medicine, computing, humanities, everything. And of course, I am delighted by this team of contributors. I didn't expect to meet people whose names you can see in the most highly rated journals and at the most prestigious conferences in the world. Physics and astronomy became one of the most popular topics, and for good reason. Kazan University holds some cutting-edge research in this area. A new strategic academic unit, Astro Challenge, was established in 2015 to advance space research. Our guests could not only present their work, but also get acquainted with their peers from KFU. Yes, I mean, what I've seen so far, it's good, and I mean, uh, it's uh, very nice to have all these um, different scientific areas here um, presented and so on. I meet a lot of good colleagues here um, from Russia but also from abroad so it's a very good setting of uh, very good people, so forefront and leaders so, and uh, a lot of discussions. Many of the invited contributors were of Russian ethnicity. It's good to see that Russian science once again attracts those who decided to leave the country some time ago. China has the idea of attracting overseas Chinese and appreciating them to return home. Such an idea is also now realized in Russia, where many people moved from even during Soviet years. I, for example, left in 1989. Government support plays a major role in this reverse mobility. The Mega Grant project has been in place since 2010. It aims to promote cooperation between Russian and overseas colleagues with sizable investment from the federal government. A Mega Grant session was held during the conference, and one of the new winners was Kazan University with this project in chemistry. Commission. This independent international commission selected a number of projects at Kazan University. As far as I understand, that's not all, so hopefully more projects will receive support. Financial support also comes in handy for attracting young talent. As many participants pointed out, the scientific community does need fresh blood. During the years of market reforms, many young people in Russia have preferred to leave research work for business. But the situation seems to be changing, and the number of students and postgraduates could attest that. The conference included the Science of the Youth Forum. Well, I was I was really impressed by the high quality of works that were presented by students. The main task of this conference is to show our young people how to make science, to attract them to continue our endeavors, because without them there is no going forward. After three days of section meetings, networking and discussions, the closing ceremony was marked with awards for the best student works. This was millstone event for the university because we found new partners and colleges with whom we will hopefully work together. I'm inviting our young talents, of whom there are many right here in this room, to join this partnership. Students of the most prestigious Russian universities were among the winners. It was especially inspiring to see many young women on the winners' podium. The contestants confessed that the competition was very challenging, but the results were truly impressive. Some young researchers look for cancer treatments, some work on creating new grain cultivars, some on hydrocarbon extraction technologies. I was very surprised that my work was selected, because apparently there were more than 400 pictures and 20 of them were chosen for the poster session. 
This gives you an idea of the competition involved. The Ministry of Education and Science of Russia called this conference one of the most significant events of the year. Not only because of its scale, and it was indeed much work and effort, but also because of its message. Kazan University becomes a starting point for many new ideas, acquaintances and projects, everything that science of the future will be based on.